So iPad 10.2 starts out at $329 with educational pricing $299. So that leads me to believe this is a very student oriented tablet. And today I wanna to bring you on a casual test drive of a lot of applications that you might be using with this tablet if you decide to pick it up for high school, college, and whatever you do. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, as the algorithm likes it, and will help push my content to more people. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into some school oriented tasks and applications with the brand new 2019 iPad 10.2 inch. So first up, let's hop into the files app here. This is kind of important when you're accessing, you know, files on iCloud Drive, like page documents, keynote, you know, presentations and other stuff you decide to store on here. You also have access to storage on your iPad. You can create folders and go into folders with particular apps. So you have like a Minecraft folder here. If you have Minecraft, that's not school oriented, but you do have like LumaFusion, GarageBand, and of course other apps that will support a folder will pop up right here. You can go into recently deleted. You can go into your downloads, especially if you're downloading PDFs and images off of Safari and stuff like that. And and of course you can attribute particular files with colors here and um, you can go through your recents here as well. Next up, let's move on to some note-taking apps here. Let's start up with Microsoft OneNote here. Um, this is not my note-taking app of choice, but it is nice and you have the ability to write some you know, detailed notes with text and of course annotate with you know the pen and everything. And it's very smooth, even though this isn't an Apple application, the Apple Pencil works very, very well. And of course you can go into text mode here and type some stuff up. So this is a note and we can resize that or you know reorganize it on the screen here. And typing I'll say with the virtual keyboard is just fine. I typed throughout high school with a 9.7 inch display on an iPad Air 2. So having the extra, you know, half an inch or so is really, really great for once again, virtually typing. And of course, you know, we can highlight and, you know, use this dope like galaxy pen or whatever. This is marker here. That's kind of fun. You can organize your notes whichever way you want and format your text the way you want, you know, with particular files that you can download, bold, italicize, all the stuff you'd find in like Microsoft Word. And yeah, I find it a very simple and intuitive note taking app. And the best part about it is it is available on any device with any platform. So if you use like a Windows computer or an Android phone, you know, you can still access your notes on here. Um, it's a cross platform application. Application. Moving on to the renowned Notability, everybody knows what this is. This is one of the best iPad apps on the App Store, especially with Apple Pencil. Of course, you can annotate and write notes whichever way you like with pretty much any color that you want here. So we can choose like, I don't know, this orange color and, you know, circle and make a little note here so I can actually copy down, you know, like note taking and cursive and the writing experience is just fine despite the fact that my handwriting is just horrible. This app, as I've said in the past, is great for marking up PDFs. I do enjoy, you know, dragging pictures and other stuff into here just to, you know, highlight and underline and whatnot. You can drag this little view box to wherever you want and just begin writing like there's no tomorrow. So I can be like, this is a note. And of course it will, you know, automatically move over for me. This is kind of thick. Of course you can change the thickness of your device here or your pencil, your pen input. So let me can, you know, continue here, lol. Um, and obviously that will continue to move on. This is a great app once again. It, it does cost money, but it's definitely worth it if you are into taking virtual notes. Next up, let's move on to my note taking app of choice and it's Good Notes 5. And you can actually see some of my real notes that I take on my iPad Pro in class here. So let's go into my, let's say critical thinking course here. So here we are. Um, let me scroll back a little bit. So here were some truth tables we were doing in my class. This stuff hurt my head. My teacher went way too fast teaching this. But as you can see here, um, I wrote a bunch of notes and I can actually continue to pretend to write some. Of course, I'm going to erase it, but um, uh, we'll just continue here. Pretend like I'm, you know, doing a truth table, I guess. So I can write the date here, you know, like October 1st and then like truth tables continued. And then I can draw a diagram by pressing this little shape button here and I can get really, really straight lines and then, you know, draw a cross and then put a bunch of T's and F's and whatever my teacher wanted us to do. One of the features that I enjoy of this app is the ability to erase, but not completely. So it'll erase, you know, parts of what you wrote rather than the whole thing. Like you cannot like precisely erase, but thankfully it's not destructive. Like you get with like, you know, notability where you just, you know, drag the erase over and it's like all deleted. And of course, again, like notability, you can drag this little window here and write. This is how I write, especially in my world religions class. So here are my class notes. So if I'm, you know, writing something about a particular religion that we're learning about, I can just drag something down here and then continue to write. So I can like write like a little bullet point, you know, like Hinduism um, 101. I know this is just a random bullshit, but like, you know, um, the deity Krishna and the uh, deity Shiva are 
important to Hindu culture. I know that's such a general statement and to my Hindi viewers, you're probably gonna laugh at that, but that is you know, how I take notes in class and it's very enjoyable with the iPad 10.2 inch and the first gen pencil, it's just as comfortable. Um, the 120 hertz display on the iPad Pro, of course, is nice, but this is totally doable. Um, 60 hertz does not bother me at all. It's very, very smooth and the response time is not bad at all. So you will definitely enjoy taking handwritten notes in here with whatever app you choose, whether it is Notability, OneNote or GoodNotes 5, I highly recommend this app, you're going to enjoy your time with, again, the Apple Pencil and this iPad, despite the fact that its hardware is a couple years old. Next up, I want to demo multitasking in like a school scenario. So say you want to take notes on something or you're doing some kind of assignment in Notability, you know, la la la, whether it's some kind of notes, you know, like a business strategy 101 underline, you know, you're writing points and whatever, and say you want to watch a video on YouTube, you can drag that over here can have your window open here and let's just look up I don't know business 101 here and then we'll find a video I'm sure there's something look at this some random ass and this is an hour long you know I'm gonna turn the volume down and uh, here you go you have a video playing in the background you can resize it you can make it smaller you can, and you can have like more room to write so like you know like marketing you know uh, designs and then, you know, make some points under here. And of course you can type with the virtual keyboard. So we can, you know, like this is a note about my business class. And you can resize that if you have a text box, but this is kind of just like inline text. So we can, you know, bold that italicize it. So you can make the video bigger and your notes here smaller. So you're referencing your notes while you're watching a video. And say you're messaging a friend about a particular assignment or a course that you're taking. And of course you wouldn't be talking about anything not school related. So here we go. This is an actual conversation I had with somebody about my critical thinking class. So that's perfect. Um, so I can actually position it over here. And of course, interact with both of these windows here simultaneously while scrolling through here and typing, you know, messaging my friends so I can say, like, how about we start a call around eight on Thursday. I'm not going to actually send that message, but you know, you get the picture here. You can actually do this. And then once you're done, you can just swipe it away and get back to what you're doing. The next app that I want to demo is very college oriented. Mine uses it and a lot of schools in my state use it. So all of my classes post files and updates to this app so I can actually go into my composition class. I have a paper due tomorrow. I actually have to edit it after I'm done editing this video. So we can go to files here and we can go to, uh, let's go to my essay checklist and we can check out, you know, what I'm supposed to do for this essay. Oh boy, you know, real great here. I have a lot of these business oriented assignments in my ISM classes and informational system management classes, a lot of assignments all the time so I can keep myself updated here. And then I can of course go to my assignments here and lo and behold, paper one final version due tomorrow at midnight. Oh boy, oh boy. So this is just a quick demo of this app. It runs very well and it doesn't take the biggest, baddest hardware to run this whatsoever. The next app that I want to demo is a staple of education. It is Google Drive. So I have a bunch of documents here mostly. So here's like the paper that I wrote, you know, another like business oriented document that I wrote, um, sentence combining for my comp class here. I can also look at all my recent files here. Let's go back. I can upload stuff. I can see what's shared with me. So this is some of the stuff that was shared with me in my composition class. I can go to my files, you know, I don't have a lot in here because I've only been in college for a couple weeks, but you get the picture. Of course, everything runs really smooth in here because this is more of a web-based service anyway. So next up, let's quickly demo docs here. I can jump into it straight from Drive. So here's an assignment I did for my humanities class. I talked about the situation in Zhejiang. Um, so here we go. I wrote a whole thing, you know, I did my research. Oh, and this reminds me, I forgot to mention in my multitasking segment, this is a perfect place where you'd want to have two apps open at once when you're writing and you need to do some research. So we can bring up a Safari tab open here. So I was looking through news articles about the situation over there. So I, so I can bring up an article here. I didn't use this one, but of course you can, you know, reference whatever article you want. So of course I can edit this document here while scrolling through this article. And that is very, very useful, a very common scenario when you're in school, you know, typing up some kind of assignment, which requires you, of course, to do some outside research. So you can definitely do it here comfortably with this 10.2 inch display and the Apple Pencil and the hardware in here. It's a very, once again, smooth experience, even with the A10, which is a couple years old by now. And that about wraps things up here. Once again, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. I have a ton more iPad 10.2 content coming up here, especially comparisons with other iPads that are currently being sold, like the 10.5 inch iPad Pro refurbished, and the Air 3, and the iPad Pro, and possibly even the Mini. And I also have iPhone 11 content coming soon as well. 
And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.